Good morning and welcome to today's vlog where I'm going to be drawing something, I don't know what um, I'm starting to draw a few well, as you know the last few days I've been drawing stuff on A3 uh, paper these are going to be like obviously like art prints I'm going to sell um, so I want to start something new today and try and I don't know, draw something so I was thinking of some kind of creature but it's it's partially hidden in a cave or something or it's, it's coming out, I don't know I'm going to try and just sketch something and some of it will be in shadow huge arms them sort of like hands you won't really see. I need to clear this desk, it's a right mess. Not, um, sort of the hands sort of like um, sort of like dragging his knuckles on the floor or something. said it was going to be like in a cave all this um, very stuff with vans and other stuff let's see and then rocks and stuff to the face, I don't know exactly what maybe yeah, it's like horn things on the side of his face maybe the way I don't know, way he's like hunched I think it might look a bit depressed, I think. A bit sad. I think it might be interesting just to draw. Draw that. sad I don't know just adds a bit of story to the um, the drawing
so we can focus on the head now as I said I want that face to look a bit sad a bit unusual to what I usually draw I usually draw I'm looking angry or you know enraged but best to try and sometimes give you illustrations a bit of a story behind them So it makes you ask yourself why he's looking a bit sad. And this illustration will give me the perfect opportunity to test out the Pentel brush pen on a lot of the shadowed areas and I want some like dry brushing effects which you can do with this because uh, I've done a separate video which you'll see um, where you can do like dry brush effects and things on certain areas which looks quite cool especially when you mix it with other ink pens and stuff like that so huge like muscles and maybe I think uh, some I don't know texture which has almost like carvings in him or something you know in his skin or something probably work that out a bit more This under here will be shadow. Just around the head as well. Don't want to be a lot of structured muscle things and you know usual details that you can go overboard with <laughs> right now he's uh, looking like he's just a bit sad looking but like he's just about to smile for some reason so I'll have to change that time for some breakfast <laughs> tasty coca pops the tiny milk chocolate egg. Yeah. Also today I want to make a start on that Kraken uh, commission. Uh, it's like a tattoo idea. So that sketch that I did in the sort of um, there it is that sketch that I did there. Um, that's a bit of inspiration uh, behind it, but I, I won't be drawing it like that because it's that's more like a illustration style. I need to close off a lot of the design and make it look like a tattoo basically so I need to draw maybe the whole thing or certain elements so I'm thinking about having this in the centre of the head This might not be the final design, I might just change my mind with it, but we'll see as we you know, go along with it. Got to try and work out the whole thing. I 
I may re sketch this. The good thing is if I don't really choose this as the final design, which I don't think I will, I can just create an illustration out of it anyway. It's the best thing about uh, drawing these commissions sometimes. So I'm sort of thinking, nah, this isn't going to be the final tattoo design of the Kraken, but I'll just carry on with a bit of this anyway, because it can be a separate illustration. I think yeah, the, the main tattoo design uh, might be like longer ways, because I don't want to do it too wide, actually, because it depends. I mean, most people get the tattoo on their arm, um, so I need to do maybe a, a tattoo about, I don't know, maybe half the size of this page so I don't, I don't know maybe make it a bit more stylized so yeah the thoughts of an artist always changing my mind about certain drawings but that's part of drawing really and I don't know I think you have better ideas as soon as you start to sketch you might have better ideas about how you can tackle certain illustrations and tattoo designs and things so yeah I want the the waves and that lots of frothy waves I don't really I don't think I've ever coloured in water properly A lot of these is ah, bloody runny nose. <laughs> yeah, so I'll keep this as a just a standalone illustration of the Kraken, um, big octopus type thing. Um, I think it's best if I put something to scale, maybe like um, a little boat, just to show the size of the creature. A little boat there. Then you can see that the creature is massive. Going to leave a little border on the edges. Um, Usually I'd mask, you know, mask that off with masking tape, but yeah, this one plan, so I'll just uh, leave a gap near the edges and maybe clean that up um, after I've scanned it when I finish the drawing. If I do finish the drawing, I reckon I will, because this uh, idea looks quite fun. To try and draw, I'll have to get a better workspace. This uh, table's done me in. <laughs> Thing is, I used to have a good workspace, but um, the amount of clutter and stuff we've got, I've had to reorganise stuff, and well, I'm going to get a better workspace. Yeah, definitely. Probably show that on the vlog when I actually do that. And that'd be great if I can try and create a proper workspace, not just like a temporary workspace where I'm just in the, you know, dining room with a little uh, patio table, glass table, but it should be outside. There you go. 
take care of everything. Need to get on with these things. But I'm busy drawing for now. <laughs> so I'll have to wait. Yeah, so this drawing. I like the looks of it actually. So I'll be definitely yeah, trying to develop this one. Ink it and colour it. I always like that Pirates of the Caribbean film. It was the second one. Dead Man's Chest. The massive cracking and that. Just like, you know, ripping up the ship and that. And it was great, that one. I think the tentacles could do would be a bit longer, but yeah, it's only oops, part of the drawing. Let me change that one slightly. So right now I'm just adding ink and details to this Kraken idea. I'm using this uh, just to do some of the outlines of the really the tentacles. I'm trying to do the rest, you know, with uh, thinner ink pens and add a lot of shadow for the eyes and around the eyes as well. So, try and sort that out. Yeah, I'm really liking these, uh, you know, brush pens. Probably get a, a couple more eventually. But I think it's best to use them sparingly for uh, maybe outlines and um, a lot of, te you know, darker texture and stuff like that. I think it's just a case of using them a bit more just to experiment. And I've got these other tentacles to try and finish off. See, so yeah, really, it's a bit slow going at the moment. Um, with it being Saturday night, um, it's movie night, so I watched uh, a couple of movies. Just took that hair off there. There's a hair on the bristles of the brush. Yeah, so I watched a couple of movies. I watched that Pixels, which was alright, not too bad. And I finally got to watch um, Annabelle. About that possessed um, doll, um, you know, it's fairly, fairly good, I suppose. Um, yes, yeah, so it was a good few hours taken out of the town, and actually, it was a good uh, little break away from drawing for a bit, because I've been uh, sort of drawing non-stop for quite some time. But now I'm back to it. Um, it's not far off one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, I think it's just best if I do a few little updates for this uh, vlog. So yeah, I've done like the outlines for them. Um, it's best if you try and do like wobbly lines. Don't try and aim for like smooth lines. Um, that's my experience with it anyway. 
um, because the the more wobbly they land, the more organic the look for these creatures and stuff and then you can sort of offset the land bits and try and create texture from that I don't want to use this too much and used it for a bit of um, sort of outline bits and things thicken some lines yeah so this is not not too bad uh, cracking sort of sketch um, gonna do a few more legs try and get work them in there this is only six at the moment there should be eight hmm pooperoni right So yeah, I've got all the water in between. I want um, to be like um, water splashing around and things like that. And I don't want to forget about that little boat there, which just sort of shows it all to scale, really. And yeah, a bit more to do on this one. Um, I'll show you that other one. This one. I've uh, just penciled a few more of the vines hanging from this uh, little tiny cave, uh, the rocks there and everything, and I've started to wink uh, that demon, you know, creature's face and the horns and things like that. And I used the uh, brush pen just to do the darker areas there, which uh, worked out quite well. Um, as you can see he's got a couple of tears there I've still got that worried you know the worry lines on the top of the head and it sort of like looks like um, it's slightly sad I could have done it a bit better but yeah well so yeah I've just got to try and draw do some dry brush strokes and lots of darker bits right on the sort of back area just take some getting used to to use this pen I can turn some of that back down and things like that. Um, when it comes to the colour, I won't be doing like a, a dark black in that cave. It's going to be like greys and things like that. So it's not totally black colour. Um, I think it's best to highlight the outline of the creature as well. Again, I'm going for that uh, bumpy sort of line, sort of outline. Shadow there. Just draw some thin lines there. 
I'm going to go all the board until I properly work that out. And do the same with the other side. I'm slowly getting there with the overall shape of this uh, creature, this beast, whatever I'm going to call him. I don't know what, <laughs> whether it's a demon or whatever, I don't know. I haven't really decided, to be honest. Another thing, I uh, had uh, them legs, I don't know if they're going to be there or it's just going to be maybe the top half and a bit of it's going to be in shadow so I'll probably do a few lines here and there just to suggest that the legs might be there uh, but other than that I don't know maybe just keep the top half and then draw just lots of detail on the the surface of the skin and things like that and a lot of it's going to be lots of detail in the background and on the rocks and everything maybe just a cool but different sort of illustration really I'm going slightly blurry there same on the other side So I'm sort of like looking, liking the look of this. Um, I can, I think I can do with more vines hanging down and maybe some, I don't know, grass poking up through there, just to show that it's maybe trying to hide from the world in this. It's like a tiny cave, so because he's only just fitting into it, so yeah, it's going well this one. Um, also, I wanted to show you uh, that drawing I did in my sketchbook. I've decided it's going to be um, like um, a sketch for an oil painting. Um, so I just really need to finish it. I started to wink a bit more of the, you know, the woman's face and body and things, and a bit more of the demon creature that she's riding. Um, so yeah. As usual, there's lots of detail on the uh, creature and things like that. So really, it's the contrast between the woman and the demon, because um, there's just like going to be like smooth skin on the woman, obviously, because she's got no clothes on and stuff like that. I just need to wet that arm out a bit more, um, 
and the arm with the hand she's holding like a samurai sword so yeah I'm liking the idea of it anyway so whatever happens it's just gonna be like a sketch this one and when I do like an oil painting of this eventually um, I'm just gonna try and work in um, a lot of the details and a lot of the background is gonna be some kind of mad uh, fantasy colors like purples and things like that um, so yeah, just gotta make some notes of that and just try and finish things off basically because tomorrow will be Sunday so I've got to <clears throat> sort of be up slightly early not too early and try and uh, do some updates on all the other drawings and do the first roundup sort of video of what I've done uh, with all the other drawings and I'll do that every Sunday uh, sort of work towards it and yeah so yeah, it's been a bit of a day where I didn't get much done but um, Saturdays are always like that to be honest you know I usually have like movie night and stuff and watching the crap telly that's on on Saturdays <laughs> you know usual usual stuff so I'm going to leave that vlog there today and we'll begin tomorrow I've just got a few videos to edit I don't know if I'm going to upload them I'll get to upload them because I'm quite tired at the moment so anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video cheers now